I've always been into cars, and I was saying, like, romantically, like, uh, my dad was really a car guy. He used to take us to the motor shows. I remember vividly, like, yesterday, first car I sat in was a yellow Jeep, and I loved it. And I was like, oh, I want one of these one day. <laughs> and now I'm sat here with a legend of a strongman driving a yellow Jeep up a mountain in Scotland, <laughs> which feels cool. very cool, man. So is it proper? Yeah, it's a pinch me moment. Year everybody's just had with lockdown and stuff like that, yeah. being forced not to get out there. Yeah. It's had a terrible impact on people's mental health. You know, a lot of people have struggled. It's almost like they couldn't connect why they were struggling with the fact they had their, their freedom, their opportunities to go out and, and interact and explore and, and be active taken away. And it's like, that's yeah, literally parallel. There's some great research that looks at you know emotional and, and, and mental health and physical health. And how when you're in like a negative cycle of thinking, it's almost impossible to change that without a physical intervention. Yeah. So, so you know, when we exercise, when we train, there's, there's like a, a chemical reaction like within our blood where we develop, you know, molecules that are literally there to help us not just deal with physical stress, but emotional and mental stress. Our bodies reward us for getting outside and being active, right? And um, when people don't do that, yeah, uh, the, the chain of events that happens can be very, very hard. I used to suffer with depression, and yeah. it's so easy to kind of like get the blinkers on and not want to do anything. And yeah. I see people now that message me and they're struggling, they ask questions. I'm like, just get out there and start doing things every day. Try and kind of challenge yourself, even if it's something really small, Yeah. because you don't know what it's going to lead to. Let's go. Adventure begins, man. Oh yeah. I wasn't lying, but he said it gets pretty rough. Oh, That's true. Right. This is nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is wicked. Yeah. So we're testing this out now. Yeah. Love the Jeep brand. Never get to play with the Jeep properly off road. Right. So, uh, That's completely different, isn't it? To drive it on uh, normal roads. <laughs> Have you been on any roads like this yet? No. <laughs> How are you feeling, James? All good? All good, Ross. This is uh, this is an adventure, man. This is fun. <laughs> uh -huh, that's what you that's what you asked for, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Still got this, this unyielding faith that this car is better than I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have faith in the car. Oh my God. <laughs> so the most extreme off-road driving that's available in the UK, we've now qualified ourselves for. First one. random challenges yeah so anything that's kind of like oh we're going to test your manhood see what you can kind of do against other guys <laughs> i'm just a typical man in that respect in that i like if someone else do it i'm like i can let you go do that you know and i've been like that from such a young age yeah it's like just natural competitiveness i guess that most athletes have and the stones are they're steeped in history so yeah there's so many different types of stones challenges all over the world i mean you go looking I mean, Scotland and Iceland are, are kind of the main examples, but like Spain, they have their own kind of traditional Atlas stones. I think Hungary has them. And, you know, just weird feats of strength that these locals have developed over the years. I think the great thing with Strongman is we take all these little sort of local feats of strength, particularly originally, mm -hmm. and then you challenge the strongest guys in the world to do them and see what they can do. There's just something, I guess, quite raw about it. It's always fun pushing the boundaries, finding a limit. And it just mm. doesn't matter what it is. It's fun to yeah. see that you can kind of get more done than you expected, achieve more than you kind of definitely just blast past kind of those self-limiting thoughts. Yeah, we all start off as kids with that kind of excitement that we're capable of anything. Yeah. 
And then as people get older, it's just drilled out of them. Yeah. They're like, oh, you need to get a real job. You need to do this. Yeah. And people lose that imagination.